Hey, hey, y'all. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come on in. Just try to straighten y'all up. Let me make sure I can get comments. So everybody say, hey, let me make sure that everything's working. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. What's up? I'm going to turn my phone notifications off. Good morning. We are going to do the, um, there we go. Good morning. Um, we are going to do the Be Happy Kit. So it comes with this sign. Um, it is kit number 108. I wrote it down this time. So kit number 108. Um, it comes with your black deco mesh, the black and yellow horizontal white stripe. Um, it comes with this cute bee ribbon and the black royal. It comes with your ring board, your zip ties, your, your cutty things, your, your, um, measuring and the stuff to attach the, um, good morning, the, the sign. Um, so, and then it comes with two of these picks, y'all. I love them. They are covered with glittery goodness. Um, and that's it. I think I am prepped. We are ready to roll. So I'm going to get this mesh out of my way. Um, and we're going to prep the sign first so that y'all can see um, how I do my wood signs. Let me get this out of the way. Nippers, thank you. <laughs> you like cut, I leave you the, the cutty things. So for my wood sign, y'all can see the glitter all over my table just from cutting those. So for my wood signs, um, but wait, it's Friday, y'all. What the heck was I thinking? Everybody get up, put your coffee down. Get off the chair, get out of the bed, get off the couch. You ready? Is everybody up? It's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday. Do the day, do the day, do the day. <laughs> I just got you. I got gotcha. you. All right, now let me bring you down. <laughs> I forgot for a minute it was Friday. I should have known because y'all here with me. All right. So I always get like extra foam pieces. Let me grab two pipe cleaners. Actually, I'm going to grab three for our bow. <laughs> Good morning. So I've got us two pipe cleaners. Look, y'all better have danced with me. Give me a thumbs up if you danced with me. So I use quarter inch staples in my staple gun. So I put the foam down first just to make sure that it doesn't go through. Okay. Um, and then let's turn this bad boy on. Hello from Oklahoma. Cutty things. Could you and Lori Franklin do a Lori and Michelle dictionary? We could. <laughs> but you didn't get off my chair. That's okay. So I'm just going to take this and we're going to put two staples. Oh, that one didn't work. There we go. So it doesn't go through. 
and then give it a good couple twist just like that spell check would be a nightmare <laughs> Okay, good couple twist. And now our sign is ready to go. The staples don't come through the front. If you want to use your cable mounts, you most definitely can. For wood signs, I just prefer staples. Okay. Get my staple gun out of the way. Sign is ready. Let's bring our board back. Take our sign. They might make fun, but we all knew what you were talking about. Exactly, Doris. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So I've already prepped most of the mesh. Um, I saved a couple petals just for y'all, of course. Um, you got it going on with that power tool. I like my power tools now. Actually, let me get that back out of the way. So we are using the ring board. Um, I cut this horizontal wide stripe at 36 inches. We are going to do the woodland ruffle. You is backwards today? Well, lordy be. It'd be all right. Just stand on your head. <laughs> I'm just going to use my phone to hold that end down. Okay, so 36 inch piece inside of a mesh roller. Just going to line that up. So right here, the cut edge is one. Okay, so once it goes down, that's one. So there's one, two, Find your middle and pinch. Good morning. If y'all float my boat, I love it. And then flip. We're going to do the same thing to this end. Most women love a good power tool for sure. Except I can't find my jigsaw yet. I'm still on the hunt for my jigsaw. Okay, so one, two. And then, y'all, I just kind of push down right here in the middle and then pick up just like that. Because if you just go like that, sometimes it can go kind of wonky. So I just pull up and pinch. When I did my live last week, I was backwards. Ha, Judy. And Judy's the one always getting on to us about being backwards. And she was. <laughs> And then I'm just going to scrunch from one end to the other. Now, I know some of y'all can't scrunch in a straight line. Here's another tip. Just watch here and keep an eye on your pen there. And it'll be easier for you to keep a straight line. If not, I'll show you what to do when we get there. Okay. So, one, two, three. Four, five, six. No, I didn't, Teresa. Seven. And then just bring it right in. Now, if you happen to go cockeyed, just kind of tug on your ends and they'll straighten right up. Okay. But literally just eyeball that pen on the far side and that'll help you keep it straight as well. Okay. So this is what we're using. We're using this, and then we're going to bring two black curls into it. Thanks for floating my boat, y'all. So the black is cut at 10 inches inside of my mesh roller. And I'm just going just like that, pulling it out, push down, pinch. You needed that tip. Well, there you go. Free of charge. 
Okay, so that's going to be our curls. So we're putting a woodland ruffle and two curls in each one. So these are cut at 10 inches. Good morning. Do you both use a rotary cutter? If so, what brand? I use, what is this? Bonrob, B-O-N-R-O-B. It's a rotary cutter, 45 millimeters. The yellow and black was cut at 36. That's the one I use. But yeah, they're they're pretty much all the same. I don't get cut, I don't get um, sidetracked on, on brands as long as your cutter, the blade is sharp. That's truly all you need. Okay. So it'll be just like this with this on top and then our ribbons and we're going to throw in some balls. Maybe I may just save them for the bow. We'll see. Okay. Now I've got one more set of petals we will make when we get to the end. But let's get started. Now I am going to find my top. Now my sign is going to be kind of cockeyed. So I'm thinking about right there. So I will mark on the board. where I'm putting, I do, <laughs> hello, hello, okay, so we're going right here, so that is, we've got our middle here, so we've got one, two, three, four, so I'm going four down, we're going here so that's one two three down so these boards are an excellent way to make sure that you're either getting them on straight or getting them on cockeyed the best way possible right well i guess as long as we can count which we know sometimes i can't all right so since i'm going this way my bow is going to go right here. I have eggs boiling? Not yet. But we will. You feel so much better after the Friday dance? Yes. So right here, we are just doing the mesh. No tails. Because our bow's going here. So I'm going to grab our mesh. And two rolls. Let me grab my needle nose. Still not my favorite. Still haven't found them. Okay, so I'm just taking our curls, putting them one right over the other. Okay, just kind of making an X. I need another hand. Okay, so we've got our mesh in there and then we'll put in the curls right on top and you can see i put the cut side down y'all cut side is down you did yours wednesday what this kit happy good friday Okay, so that's what we have. I know I stuffed them somewhere in a last minute panic. I just started throwing, but I'll find them at some point. Okay, so that's what we've got. 
and then we're going to start adding our tails okay so i cut my tails at um 14 inches had to cut 400 pieces of mesh yeah what were you thinking girlfriend <laughs> Okay, so one right over the other. Bend it over, find your middle. No grandbabies to do Easter eggs. Well, come to my house, Susan. Random question, and please wait to answer to the end. I don't want to interrupt your flow. Last night I was watching Deco Exchange, and they were talking about the butt ruffle. What is that? girl i have no idea <laughs> i think it's something megan came up with um but yeah don't give me the lion okay and then i'll bring them close together make sure they're kind of lined up pinch that top that's when you know it's good ribbon when it stays just like that okay so here we're going to grab our mesh we're going to grab two curls. <laughs> so I'm going to see what it looks like if we add some of these balls in with all of this. Let's see if we can hold it all. It's how she folds the 21. I thought it was 21, but I just wasn't sure. Okay, just like that. And then uh, let's see. I think I'm going to wait to the end to add those and see if I want to add them. But I will definitely add them in the bow. Lord, now to hold all this in there, y'all. So if you cannot hold all this in there, y'all put zip tie over zip tie. It'll be okay. Okay, just use extra zip ties. Or not zip ties, pipe cleaners. I know I need a third hand. So that's what we've got. Now, if you want to add these as you're going, I would add them between the mesh and the ribbon. And you can just zip tie them right in. Just like that. But I think I'm going to save mine to give our bow a little extra something, something. Okay. How do I get the kit? It is at uniqueinthecreek.com and it is the Be Happy Kit 108. You use extra zip ties sometimes? Yeah, it's no problem using the extra zip ties. Look, sometimes my hands can't handle it. So, how many holes are you using? I'm using eight. So, I used every other on the outside. If you want to use the inside, you can. I went to the outside this time just to make it a little bit bigger. So doing it to the outside will give you a, a, maybe an extra inch or two um, for a bigger, a little bit bigger wreath. So if I was to put this one on the inside, let's, let's just see. Let's measure. So 
that's about two and a half inches past the board. If I put this one on the inside, and I'm just measuring the ruffle part. That's about an inch and a half. So you, you your wreath is about an inch bigger if you use the outside instead of the inside. But y'all, it really doesn't matter. It just depends. You want it bigger, you want it smaller. If you want to go bigger, go home, or you want to stay home. <laughs> Love the bubble bee wreaths you do. Well, I love all your wreaths to be on. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Oh, let's get our tails ready. And you will notice I'm going curl side up. If you've watched me lately, I've been doing a lot of curl side down. Curl side up gives you a little bit of a thicker wreath as well. Okay. Go big or go home. Okay. Yellow and black piece is 36 inches. So we're putting that. And then putting two 10 inch curls on top of that. Just making an X with it. It's a whole lot of mess, y'all. Hold it. And then put your tails right on top. You see, I had to put my back into that one. <laughs> Dane is just here for the accent. The wreath is a bonus. <laughs> Thanks for floating my boat. Okay, we're going to save poofing out those tails till the end now. Tails are 14 inches long. What's everybody doing this weekend? Thirty-six inch woodland ruffle. You could even do it the opposite way if you wanted to make these the curls and these the thirty-six inch woodland ruffle. Could definitely do that as well. So thirty-six inch woodland ruffle, ten inch curl. Jackie's making some big old bows. 10 inch curl. Making sure I can still get to my zip tie there. Make, oh, you're making my ham. Have y'all tried the crock pot ham? So you get your crock pot out, you get your ham. You're going to need some brown sugar and some uh, pineapples. And use half the roll? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, 
what was I doing? Oh, I was giving you the recipe for my crock pot ham. Um, can't wait to see the whole, <laughs> the whole wreath. Um, so you're going to take and mix. You're going to need I it, the, either the chunky or the sliced pineapple. I take all the juice and then I have two cups of brown sugar and I mix the pineapple juice with the brown sugar. Um, and then I put a little bit of that on the bottom of the crock pot and then put in the ham and then cover it with that mixture. Always get the sliced spiral ham. And then as I'm covering the top of that ham, I'm pulling those slices apart to get all that goodness in there and then dump the pineapples on top and let it sit in that crock pot cooking for a couple hours. Oh my goodness. So stinking good y'all. Exactly that way all the time. Yes. This is a bee kit. It is bee kit number 108 from uniqueinthecreek.com. Oh, I need my curls. So 36 inch woodland ruffle, 10 inch curls on top times two. 14 inch tails right on top of that. You're definitely going to get your hand work out today. You did it for Christmas. Lori made it. It is good, y'all. I promise you. Promise you. You're going to get your hair done. <laughs> Happy Easter, good friend. But next time, Brenda, you need to schedule your hair appointments around my lives. Okay? <laughs> Don't be leaving my lives. My kids all have plans, so me and the hubby will probably get some Papa Murphy's pizza and binge watch Longmire. Longmire's been out for a long time. Y'all haven't seen that? But that pizza, what's Papa Murphy's pizza? I think you may need to send me some. <laughs> Recovering from surgery, so not going anywhere. Well, that's okay. Sometimes doing nothing is good, y'all. Papa Murphy's is a, oh, it's a take and bake. Well, you can just take it and make it a take and ship and bake. What's wrong with that? <laughs> so watch yesterday's live so I can figure out your tip on holding the zip kind gun. Oh, okay. Well, I can show you again. I can show you here because I'm sure a lot of people are having problems with their zip tie gun or don't have one. Um, and need to, uh, learn how to use them. How about that? Let me get this one done and then we'll make our extra set. Um, and then I'll show you up close. How about that?
after the last demo, you got it figured out. Awesome. It definitely saves on the hand, y'all. games with the kiddos. Absolutely. Yeah, this is a whole lot of horizontal wide stripe, y'all. Horizontal wide stripe is definitely thicker. Um, so when you start to get that, um, all that, and then the curls and, and everything, it is a lot thicker and it's harder to handle. So you can definitely switch them around. All right, let me grab a board here. I'm going to grab a cut board because um, y'all know I'm always hacking up a board. So zip ties, you've got the square end. Okay, see how that's squared? And then you have the flat side. The flat side always goes up to the ceiling. Okay. What's the best mesh for the daisy chain? I love horizontal white stripe for the daisy chain, especially the outside of it. Um, inside, you can really use anything. And then you're going to go down one hole, up the next. Pull it as tight as you can, or you don't even need to pull it as tight as you can, but... So your zip tie gun, there's teeth right here. So when I pull that, that whole mechanism moves back and tightens your zip tie. So when you're ready to cut it off, all you need to do is take the end and you're going to take it between the teeth and that black plate at the top. Okay, so just like that. So as I pull it back, it's going to tighten that zip tie. And when it's tight enough, it cuts it. Okay, let me do it one more time. So down and up. Feed it right through. It's pulling and it cuts. Now, if you don't pull it tight enough, so I'm not going to pull it as tight. So I'm leaving a little space. So when you do this, eh. It'll start to pull it tight. See how it's pulling it tight? So it pulled back twice. And the third time it's tight enough. So it cuts it. Yep, the square head's always facing down. Flat end is always to the ceiling. What's the little wheel? It's the tension. It's the tension. So I always keep my tension between zero and one. Is 
that make sense? All right. 36 inch piece. Now, if you don't like Lori and, and I were saying earlier, if you don't like all the bulk, then use your black mesh for this piece and then add your curls on top of the black and it will not be as thick, y'all. Okay. So 36 inch piece inside of my mesh roller. There's our cut edge. Once it goes down, that's one. So one, two, pinch. You're welcome. Now, a lot of people just roll them. Y'all know me. I'm too OCD. They all have to pretty much look the same. But if you just want to roll like this, then roll like that. Us OCD people can't do that, okay? <laughs> so one, two. So you'll see me just kind of push down so it doesn't rotate. Push down and pinch and then scrunch. And then like I said here, just keep an eye on that end and you'll keep a straighter line or line it up on your mat. and do it that way, okay? And then bring those ends together. And if you still didn't get it straight, just tug. Just tug a little bit. See how that might, if I tug on this side, that end moves. If I tug on this side, this side moves. So you can kind of straighten it out from there. Well, thanks, Shannon. All right, y'all, let's get this last piece in here. And then we're going to make a bow, y'all. Normally, it's Flower Friday, so I don't make bows. But we're going to make a bow today. Oh, I need to do my two curls. And then the two curls are always 10 inches. Faster if I wasn't OCD? Yeah, true. I just like the look of doing it that way. Okay, so 10 inch curl. Just line it up, roll it, pull it out. Does it have to? No, you could definitely do it smaller. It does not need to be a 36 inch piece. Um, if you make it smaller, even 20, 22, um, then it won't be as bulky either. But you could definitely, Jean, go with a 20. Absolutely. And then you would use less mesh. I already had a roll of this opened. Um, so I just used up that roll. Um, but it's the same exact that you get in the kit. I'm using eight ties. Eight ties. Did every other. Okay, so now we're ready. We've got our last set of tails going in. You're welcome. And then pinch, pinch, flip. Kind of bring them together, make sure they're kind of even. Pinch this end, and now we're all ready. No, even if you went smaller, you could still go every other. All right, so we're going to pull. I just pulled both of those sides out so that we could get this in there. Just 
going to add our rolls. And then add your tails. To make a UITC wreath, you need to make one. I promise you. Now, you may not like your first one, but then you're going to have that aha moment and be like, okay, I got it. All right. So, I'm going to make sure all of our mesh, I'm just going through making sure our ruffles are buttoned up against each other. Adjusting whatever needs to be adjusted. And then we can um, go ahead and poof out our ribbon. Get this stuff out of my way. Last one. So I just run through, do that real quick. Trust me, I will do it a couple more times. But there's your base. Okay, right here. No tails because that's where our bow's going, right? So that means this is the top of my wreath. Now, these balls do come in this kit. So you could definitely add them in your zip ties um, or just kind of glue them in whatever you want to do. You get two of these picks. Um, so you could definitely just glue them in here and there. I'm going to use them for my bow. So let's make a bow. So I'm thinking, I'm trying to decide which one I want more of, the black or the B. I'm thinking I'm going to go with the B. So our B is going to go on top. So we're doing a 14 inch tail. three six inch loops how many together with a striped one what you talking about girlfriend how many together with the stripe one? I'm not sure what you're asking. Thank you. 
So three loops on each side at six inches. Come in with the black. Fourteen inch tail. Oh, you're asking how many pieces of mesh? So I did eight um, holes. So I did eight woodland ruffles and 16 curls. Is the bee ribbon satin? No, it's not. It's the good um, royal. Is that what you were asking, Karen? So yeah, I did eight woodland ruffles, 16 curls, seven sets of tails because I'm putting a bow. If you're not putting a bow, you'd need eight. Okay, and then coming back in with the B. at four inches. Now you can make your bow bigger, smaller, however you want to do it. You still have ribbon left. tight. Do I have a number on the B ribbon? This B ribbon comes in the kit. Um, it is Lori. Do you have this B ribbon by itself? RGC 1797 J three R G C 1797 J three. You're welcome. Hello there. Where do you get the bow maker in the kit? Unique in the creek.com. This is kit number 108, and she has the bow makers as well. Good 
Okay, we'll get it fluffed out even better once we get it on the board. All right, so we're going to add our sign. And we're adding it kind of cockeyed. At the beginning, I showed you exactly where I'm adding it. Yes, both of these ribbons that come in the kit are one and a half inch. Thanks. Now, if you want it straight on, you definitely can. I like to go cockeyed. Um, number one, a lot of signs look better cockeyed. And then two, I can't make a big bow, right? Okay, now I want to leave enough mesh underneath to help hold that um, sign up, right? So now that I know we're good, I'm going to just tighten it down just a tad bit more. You like Cricut as well? Yeah, me too. But I'm only pulling down just till you start to feel the resistance. Okay. And then we will fix our tails one last time i like to kind of cover up those corners just so it's not so harsh if that makes sense it's not such a you're softening up those edges when you just kind of cover them a little bit when you can Curl needs to go there Sometimes you got to tame those curls, girls. Okay. So now we can add our bow. Kind of right here. Thanks. It's been B week, I guess. I know I didn't see Pam pop in either. She's trying to ghost my life. I saw an older video of yours. You use the half UITC round board. Do you know where to get those? I don't see them. Um, they are from Charnella's Creations on Etsy. She cuts them for y'all. Y'all don't be afraid that ribbon will go where you want it. Just jerk it, y'all. Jerk it. Okay, so we're going to cut our tails and then we're going to add some of those balls to our bow. How many stripe ones in a bunch? How many stripe ones in a bunch? Just one. Oh, Lynn's being quiet too. 
What? She's not feeling well, so I'll give her a pass. so I can move this this way to do my bow here. Bows. Okay, there we go. Diana, stop, girl. Stop. I'm just curling my tails. It says, be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> I don't know why all of a sudden I'm backwards. Have I always been backwards? I don't know. Judy would tell me if I was. <laughs> Gently pull those curls out. Oh, I am usually backwards. Okay, so now we can add the, you get two picks, two ball picks in this kit. So we can add some in the bows. Yes, girl. Even got my glue gun already plugged in. And we're going to go right up to the base. And add them. So if you get to the base where those ribbons all meet down there at the bottom. Um, it'll hold. We're going to put some underneath. Are you using a different camera today? No, ma'am. I'm do, using a different um, third-party um, streaming app, though. But it's the same one I usually use on here. Okay. 
So see how that just kind of brings out that, that whimsical. So we could definitely add more. What do y'all think? Should we add more throughout the wreath? Just kind of here and there. Not a lot. But you could definitely add as little or as much of it as you wanted. What do y'all think? Should we add more? Stick them in the base of, and what I mean by that is stick it in the base of the bow. Um, so, you know, down here will be where your pipe cleaner holds it all together. So what I do is I'll lift it and stick it right down at the base of the bow, not the base of the wreath. Use it all. Well, I don't need a lot of sticky outy things. <laughs> But we can definitely add a few. Just kind of here and there. We've got three left on this pick. I'm usually not a pick girl, but when we were putting this kit together, these ball picks were just um, awesome. Happy Easter, if you're leaving me. And we'll just put one more over here. Thanks. So not a lot, but just enough to give it a little something, something extra. And then I still have one pick left. So it does come with two in this kit. So you could use as little or, you know, just use all of it. Totally up to you. Up. So there you go. And then you see the sticky outy things on the sides. My screen looks so dark. Is it dark for y'all? I just like the one pick you used. Crackers. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Cute, cute, cute. Too stinking cute. All right. So this is kit. It is the Happy Bee, or I'm sorry, Bee Happy Kit, number 108 from Unique in the Creek. Um, the screen is dark. I just noticed that. I don't know why it's so dark. Um, so my affiliate is in the description. Um, if you use my affiliate, click on that. Um, and you'll save 5% off your boards as well by using my affiliate link. Um, and then Naples, Florida. I was just telling, I talked to Suzanne the other day. I was like, I need to come to Florida. It's still too cold here. I'm used to already like 80 degree weather and it's like 40s. Like, really? Where did I move to? <laughs> I think it's because it's backwards. We don't normally see you from that direction. 
could be could be all right y'all your app changed some settings maybe maybe All right, y'all, I am out of here. Everybody have an amazing weekend. Um, I'll post a picture here in the live after I get pics. Um, but happy Easter. And um, I will see y'all right here in two weeks. All right. Bye, y'all.